to get to the expansion valve, I'm going to remove this plenum upper intake, remove this cover. Uh, I'm going to remove uh, this air tube, pull that line off, remove these uh, band clamps. Over here, and remove this EVAP line. You just push this yellow tab in, remove it. Let's Vacuum holes. Vacuum holes back here in the back. A little clamp on it. Slide it up. Pull our holes off. Unplug our throttle body. Remove a eight millimeter back here on this bracket. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts that bolt this plenum down to the intake. Now there's going to be a, another little rubber hose here going down to the, the valve cover. I'm just going to lift this up for now. Oh, there's... And I'm going to pull straight up on that tube. Rubber hose, rather. Get a little clip right here that needs to be undone. Plastic clip. And there should be a connector, wiring connector back here. We'll have to lift it up to get to it. Pull it, Pull it that way. Get my hand under here. Plugged. Okay, so that expansion valve sits right back here at the firewall. Right here. It's got a 13 millimeter nut right here. Now I did go ahead and remove these two lines here. That both of them was 13 millimeter because these uh, I'll be able to move these tubes around a little bit better with these unbolted. So let me get that buzzed off. Just gonna go in there with the wobble. Deep well 13. Okay, got them lines pulled out of the way. Okay, back here on this valve, you'll see there's two torque bolts right here that we need to get them out. That is a T25 Torx. I'm just using the wobble and extension on them too. There's the expansion valve. You see that old dirty oil that's coming out of it with metal in it? The system will have, needs to be all flushed out. You see, you see that, you see metal in it and everything. You need to flush the 
the evaporator out, the condenser, flush them lines out. Okay, if you was putting a uh, accumulator dryer in this also, it is located right here at the bottom of the radiator support. See this uh, little star looking plug here? It's housed in that condenser housing right there. That's where it's at. Um, I've done installed this one. Didn't get a chance to film it, but let's see if I can kind of explain it. That's the accumulator dryer. It goes up inside that, that housing. It's got this little metal thing here with the two O-rings on it that goes on the bottom. And then there's a, a snap ring that, that holds that in place. But, but you have to push this up push this all up once you get the snap ring to get the snap ring off that all has to be pushed up see it's got a spring loaded here on on the top of this so when you push that up and then take your snap ring off and then this it's got a little rubber deal on it that just screws up into that metal housing deal that's what you've seen on the outside out there and that is a T55 Torx. It goes right, this is what I use to take it off. With. It just went right up in there like that. If this helped you out any at all, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.